Hey everyone, this is Mike with Takumi.com coming to you with a short review video along with an unboxing and an installation which are towards the end of this video of the Narpalt Smart Door Lock. I'm embarrassed to say but I've been locking myself out of my condo quite a bit lately. Um, I go to the gym or go outside for a walk or go out to lunch and realize that I've left my keys in the house. Luckily, one of my neighbors has a set of keys, so I just go grab the keys and I'm able to get in, but realize that it's time for me to go online and do some research and grab a smart lock to install on my door so that I don't have to keep knocking on my neighbor's door asking for my keys and embarrassment. So with that said, um, I came across this lock and it grabbed my attention because there are multiple ways to access um, the house or for me to unlock the door with the smart lock. Uh, one of the ways is uh, through Wi-Fi or a gateway, which doesn't come with the lock. You have to purchase it separately. But once set up, you can unlock the door from anywhere. And this is perfect if you own a rental property or you have an Airbnb business. You can on the fly through the app, change the passcodes to allow access, unlock or lock the door to let people in. Or even if you're in the house, you can also use Bluetooth to unlock and lock the door as well. So, as I mentioned earlier, there are multiple ways to unlock the door. One is to use the standard keypad, which you can enter in your four to eight digit code on the outside of the keypad to unlock the door. But if you don't want to remember a code, no worries. You can use one of the four key fabs, which you just tap on the screen to unlock the door. Or you can opt to use the app to operate the lock via Bluetooth when you're in range or Wi-Fi from anywhere. I've used the app and it's pretty straightforward to set up and easy to use. Lock your phone or fob in the house, no worries. This lock comes with a fingerprint reader which allows you to unlock the door with a quick touch. If you're interested in this lock, then stick around. The next, vid next section of this video is an unboxing video and after that I also recorded me installing the lock on my door. So you have some instructions if you decide to purchase the lock. If you're already interested and don't want to watch any further, then go ahead and click the links below for more purchase options and some information on the lock and the different items you could purchase with it, such as the gateway and a little cube to power up the gateway. Also, if you know someone who's in the Airbnb business or owns multiple rental places, then go ahead and share this link with them as well. They may be looking for a new lock to access their rental properties or to have multiple codes set up for their Airbnb business. So with that said, go ahead and watch the next unboxing video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. All right. So this is the unboxing of the Narpult, which is a Bluetooth uh, keyless entry smart door lock. You can use your fingerprint. Um, you can use key fobs, keys, an app. Um, and it also has a touchscreen keypad on the exterior of the door. So right now what we'll do is um, I ordered one, came in. We'll just do the unboxing to see what's inside. Um, Look in the comment section uh, for the different timestamps. Uh, we'll also do an installation and also an overview of the product. So you can skip through if you don't want to see the unboxing. You could move forward to the installation portion as well. So with that said, let's move forward with the unboxing. The so first thing, obviously, are the instructions. And also it looks like it comes with a template to help with um, installing the device to your door as well, which is something we could look at uh, a little bit more detail later when we go to install the lock on the door. Side for now, inside the box, it looks like on one side we have the, um, the lock mechanism that goes on the interior of the door. So when you go, um, once everything's installed in the interior, you can lock and unlock the deadbolt from there. It is pretty, it has a little bit of weight to it. So I'm sure there's a lot going on inside here mechanically and then on this side uh, this is the part that goes on the exterior of the door uh, you can see there's an area here for fingerprints um, it has a little key card si sign there where I think that's where you put the fob to unlock and lock the door and you probably can't see it right now but there's also a keypad on here where you could just put in a four digit code or something like that and on the bottom this round section here you can actually pop that out and uh, use a key as well, which is probably inside the box. So we'll set that to the side for a minute. Uh, let's see what these guys are. Oh, yeah, so here are two of the key fobs that you can use um, to unlock the door. Like I mentioned earlier, you can just stick this to 
uh, the outside of the pad from the exterior of the door to unlock the door. And here, probably just hardware. We'll set this to the side. Let's see. So in here, um, right off the bat, you can see there's two additional um, key fobs that we can use. So you can have, see, so you have up to four. So you can give out four key fobs, whether it's just to the family or maybe a next door neighbor. You get locked out for some reason, but you shouldn't get locked out. That's why we have this. You could use the app, you could use the key fob, or you could use a key code on the front. Um, this is just the general assembly that we'll use, um, you know, the, the bolt that will go in and out. Uh, this guy probably goes in here and turns this uh, somehow. Yep, there you go. And this will probably attach uh, to the electronics. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can use a key to unlock and lock the door. So it comes with two keys that you can use. And as I mentioned, on this round piece that pops out, you can stick the key in and unlock and lock the door just like you would traditionally. Uh, looks like it just has a plate, mounting plate there. Uh, this probably goes inside the door for the lock. And then, of course, some attachment screws and things like that for the unit. So, all in all, this is what you get inside the package. Again, the four key fobs that you can use. And we'll have to try those out a little bit later in the video. Um, and, yeah, and again, the instruction manual. Now, as I mentioned earlier, oh, I haven't mentioned this, I'm sorry. Um, I also got the gateway. Um, I like to have access to um, be able to unlock and lock my door if I'm away from the house. Just in case someone needs to get in, I could just use my phone. So I went ahead and purchased the gateway unit as well. So I could just connect uh, over Wi-Fi. So it looks like that's what's in here. So this is the gateway unit that you would just connect to the router. USB-C connector on the other side. Uh, here's the cable that you would connect the USB-C to the gateway and then a USB on the other end. And it looks like that's it besides an instruction manual. Um, so it looks like it doesn't come with a, you know, you can't just plug it into the wall. You'll have to plug it in uh, using a USB cable or you'll have to use like a uh, USB quick charge. Probably doesn't have to be a quick charge actually, just a USB um, plug unit. So you could plug in the USB on this side and plug it into the wall. But we'll look at that later to see if there's anything I can just plug it into using the USB. And so, there it is. This is everything that comes with the box. The four key fobs, the bolt. This goes in the interior. This goes in the exterior, of course. Uh, this is purchased separately as the gateway. You can see that online if you decide to look into it some more. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, next, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, try installing it. See how easy it is. See you soon. So I'm getting ready to install the lock on the door. I laid everything out. I just like to be a little bit organized whenever I start a project. Um, I have measuring tape, screwdriver, and a drill to drill an extra hole in the door, um, along with, of course, the template and the instructions. So we're going to give this a try and uh, see how things turn out. All right. About to remove this guy and put on the new one. Let's get started. First, we'll remove the old. Just to show what I was doing just there, you have to measure from the center of this hole out to the edge of the door to see there are two settings on here. One is two and three eighths and one is two and three quarters. You can adjust the length of this. Some doors have a little bit of a longer um, offset between the two. So mine fits the two and three eighths. So I could go ahead and put this in and you can see that it's in the center of the door. So the next step is preparing the keypad. We're first going to screw the cylinder into the back of the keypad. Make sure that this cord is at the bottom put this guy in and then there's a screw here that I'm just going to screw into here. So once that is screwed in, we have these three connecting pins that we're going to screw to 
to the back of the foot. And this is what it looks like once everything is screwed in and in place. Now on to the next step. So now that this assembly has been put together, we're going to have to uh, attach this to the outside of, outside of the door. But as you can see, there's a third um, pin here that needs to go into the door. So I've already marked, but I'm just going to have to drill a hole through there. So I'll go ahead and drill a hole using a quarter inch bit, and then uh, I'll be ready to insert this onto the exterior of the door. Okay, so now I have this completely assembled with, um, with the mechanism attached to the exterior keypad and these three guide pins have been attached to this. So now what I'm going to do is actually attach this to the exterior of the door. Now beforehand, I went ahead and I used the template that they give you to measure out where the hole need, needs to be for the upper guide pin on the exterior keypad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and slide this on. You will notice that this cord will need to go below the locking mechanism here. And this pin here will go in the crosshairs located on the deadbolt lock. And of course, the top pin will go in the top hole. So again, slide the cable underneath. Make sure everything lines up. So sort of a tight fit, which is good. And there you go. Nice and snug on the door. So I'll show you the other side so you can see what it looks like as well. So this is looking on the other side of the door. As you can see, the two guide pins went through the bolt mechanism and the middle pin went through the crosshairs there. And as I mentioned, you need to pull the wire underneath the bolt mechanism so that it has come through. And this is where I drilled the top hole. You can't see it in there, but the top pin is in there and we'll use a screw to connect it here in a little bit. So on to the next step. Okay, so next we're gonna install the mounting plate. I'm just gonna stick this on the door. As you can see, there's a hole here which corresponds to the hole that we drilled in the door earlier. There's two additional holes at the bottom which correspond to the holes that are within the bolt lock itself. And this wire here is gonna be fed through the bottom slit here. And make sure that this pin goes through the circular hole. So we'll just feed that through. And then I'll put this top screw in here and locate the hole. And then, so that screw is gonna go there to hold it in place. And then we have two more screws which are gonna go through the bottom here to the other two screws that are on the other side of the plate. So I'm just gonna take a second and screw those in. All right, so I've gone ahead and put the screws in. One thing to note, do not over tighten the bottom screws because we need to make sure that the, that the latch mechanism isn't, there's not too much friction between this plate and the latch itself. If you over tighten it, it would make it difficult for the mechanics to actually move the lock in and out. So just do a quick test to make sure that you can um, move the lock in and out before going too much further. If it's difficult, just make sure you loosen the screws up a little bit and it should make it a little bit easier. So just make sure they're hand tightened and you should be good to go. All right, now on to the next step. Now we're gonna work on installing the interior lock. As you can see, I removed the cover which goes over the batteries, but the important step here is that there's a switch um, right here which says left or right. My door is a right opening door, so I make sure to push the switch over to the right and also when installing, we want to make sure that the deadbolt, um, uh, that the handle for the deadbolt lock is turned in the horizontal position. So once I get ready to install it, make sure this is in the horizontal position and pushed over to the right. If you have a left opening door, then you will push this over to the left and you will have this in the up position like this before installing it. Now the next step will be to connect this wire to this clip here. And then I'm going to have the the key here go into this crosshair here just like we did with the bolt assembly earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and connect that, put this uh, up on the door and then we'll be ready to screw it in. Okay, so I put the wire on, I've lined this up, <coughs> that sits here. So next there are just two more screws that I'm going to put here and here. All right, so there's that. It's starting to look like a uh, finished lock. And it has beeped, so I think we're good. There's a little reset button that says to hit there. All 
There we go. And put on the cover. And that's that.